Waves one. What is a wave? Well, a progressive wave. Later on, we'll talk about stationary waves, but a progressive wave travels through a medium. Uh, the particles in the medium oscillate about the fixed point, but don't go anywhere. Um, energy moves through the medium, passed on by the oscillating particles. So here's a water wave traveling from left to right. Uh, the water just moves up and down, uh, but a wave travels along, taking energy. Okay, two types of wave, uh, transverse and longitudinal. A transverse wave, the oscillations are perpendicular to the direction the wave is traveling in. Transverse is perpendicular. Next, this is a, a longitudinal wave such as sound. Sound is the best example of a longitudinal wave. The oscillations are parallel to the direction the wave is traveling in. Remember, transverse is perpendicular, longitudinal is parallel. And it took me ages to do that little animation there. Uh, some key terms, velocity, meters per second, basically speed in a given direction. Displacement is how far the particles have moved compared to, compared to where they would be if the wave wasn't there, the equilibrium position. The amplitude is the maximum displacement. Then the wavelength. Now, what is the wavelength? Well, the wavelength is the distance between adjacent points that move in phase. If you look at this animation below, these two red dots go up and down together. They go up and down in phase, and the distance between them is a wavelength. The distance between adjacent points that move in phase. We also have the frequency. The frequency is the number of waves that pass a point every second, and that's measured in hertz. And then the period T is the time for one oscillation, and so that will be the reciprocal of the frequency. So f is 1 over t, t equals 1 over f. Uh, 